Hey folks, it's Woody here over at USMA Blade and just coming to you from the shop today. Very excited to introduce to you folks the new Hinder Half-Track Spanto Gen 2. And this is on the Triway Pivot System and this is also a USMA Blade exclusive. So, to start by showing you guys this beauty. Right, Spanto Blade there. See if I can get the light to cooperate with me. Flip it over. A few things you'll notice as soon as you put this knife in your hand. Uh, for one, it, it does seem just slightly heavier. Of course, you're going to notice that beautiful Spanto blade on it. And then you're going to notice the uh, uh, steel lock bar insert screw. And then the next thing you're going to notice is when you go to flip it, just how unbelievably smooth it is. Uh, so these, like I said, come with the triway pivot system. So you get your choice between running it on caged bearings or phosphor bronze washers or Teflon. We'll show you more about that in just a little bit. But, uh, you know, I tried thinking of a lot of ways to, to describe this knife, but we had a customer that was here for our open house this past weekend and picked one up. And uh, I think he described it the absolute best way you can. And I'm just gonna quote Aaron. Uh, he said, it's the best small tank knife on the market. The action on the trialway bearings is quick and snappy, and if you're worried about grit in the bearings, you can always switch to Teflon or Phosphor Bronze. The Spanto is both iconic, functional, and aesthetically pleasing. Don't think you could say it any better than that. Uh, quick specs on the knife, it's six and a half inches overall, uh, two and a half inches, just a little bit over two and a half inches with a cutting edge. Uh, this one is 0.1 ounces more than the Gen 1, so it is 4.2 ounces and these come with 20 CV steel. So right now we've got these in G10 with uh, stone washed and working finish. We've got some anodized colors as well, all done by Hinder. i uh, just show you like right here. This is a bronze stone wash, or yeah, bronze with stone wash blade. And let's see, here's a, a blue as well but we've got different colored scales uh and and different finishes available and we've got some other different finishes coming so what we're going to do from here is uh take one of these apart and kind of show you the guts of it and then uh finish up with some comparisons all right so we're back and we've got the uh half track broken down and just to show you the inside of it and the way that the triway pivot system works we've done other videos on it but figure we'd do a quick blurb about it on here uh, so some of the things you're going to notice, uh, instead of different from the, uh, gen one half track is you're going to have the steel lock bar insert. And then inside of here, you've got your bearings and you're also going to notice that this is much more covered up than the gen one. Uh, that's to keep dirt and everything else from getting down here into those bearings. But if you want to swap them out, it just come right out. And then from here, let's say you want to switch to Teflon or Vosper Bronze. These are your spacers. So these are to take up that space that, uh, that your, that your uh, bearings took up. And you just put these in here. And when you start putting it back together, you just get uh, Sorry, just making sure I had that okay in there. And then just start working the knife back together from there. So say we want to put Teflon on. Trying to do this around the camera is a little difficult. Just slides right on. Set that out for now. And then you just build right back up. So, and that's how you switch from one to the other. Uh, it makes it very simple. Keeps you from... Uh, having to worry about anything. Anything getting in there. And it's just a great way that Hinder makes you, gives you the opportunity to make it your own. So you get to choose which one you want. I'm gonna save you guys having to watch me put this whole thing back together. All right guys, I threw out a bunch of knives here to give you kind of some comparison, size comparisons too, for those that have never seen or held a half track before. Uh, so let's just start with some Hinders. In case you own some other Henders, here it is against a three and a half inch uh, Spanto. And throw in our 
beautiful carbon fiber Jurassic here. And probably the one that is most comparable in, in size is going to be the three inch Spanto. Uh, kind of the difference between the three inch and the half track, the three inch has a slightly longer handle, but the half track has a much more full handle. So it really does fill the hand up a lot more. And then we'll do some shameless plug for some of the new ZTs that have come in. But this is the ZT0456 carbon fiber. And uh, it's a sprint run. And then throw out, why not? Just for giggles, the new ZT0640. And ZT0609. This is uh, another shameless plug for some of our, an showing off our anodized stuff. And speaking of anodized stuff, let's throw in a stars and stripes version of the of we the people on the zt0450 once again like with the 450 compared to the half track you just get a lot more thickness in that handle uh show you that real quick uh, hopefully that gives you an idea and we always throw in a southern grind spider monkey this is one of our other exclusives that's out there And we throw in this little guy just for giggles. This is the Benchmade uh, Micro Pocket Rocket. Uh, and speaking of Benchmade, this is the Bug Out. It's been a very popular knife for a very lightweight knife. And honest to God, there's not as much size difference between the two as you'd think. It's just uh, weight and thinness in that handle. And then I kind of save the the Gen 1 Tanto for last, and for a couple reasons. So, uh, obviously, same size knife, just different blade shape on them. But uh, one of the biggest things is the action. Don't get me wrong; the action on the half tracks is very good, even the Gen, even the Gen ones. But on the Gen 2, and I did this, so you can hear the difference. Doesn't matter, push button, light switch it. They are incredibly smooth. Let me get this other one out just to show you, since both of these, since I got a Gen 1 that was uh, stone washed, I'll show you one on stone washed. And, and this is hard to do on an overhead view, but not many, uh, not many small knives this smooth, so. Yeah, the Gen 1s came out really well, but you're not going to get that smoothness that you can get off bearings. I mean, it's just, it, don't get me wrong, I, I love all the half tracks, but uh, but definitely it's a game changer being able to put those bearings in if you, if you like the knife to just absolutely fly and be smooth. So there it is, folks. That is our USA Made Blade exclusive. It is the half track uh, Spanto. And they are available. So we hope you'll go over to usamadeblade.com and pick one up. And folks, we appreciate you watching.